Oh, right, Japs, how you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, look, so today I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to install our new Chrome extension, the SBC Tips uh, Quick Flip Chrome extension. Um, I'm going to take, teach you how to install it, how to try and get the most out of this extension. Now, something I will stress to you to begin with, it's not a bot. Um, it doesn't actually do anything for you. It gives you a lot of pricing information. It highlights some good deals, but in terms of the actual buying and selling of players, You've still got to use a little bit of intelligence. You've got to make sure that uh, the price you're buying at is right. And uh, but I'll, I'll try and explain. I'll go through as much of that as I can through the video. But uh, this is just to get you started, give you a bit of an idea of what it's all about. And of course, if you do decide to you know, have it as an extension, fantastic. I'm sure you're going to make a load of coins out of it. But anyway, let's kick start. So first things first, you need to download the file that's available on the Discord channel um, that's from our um, Google Drive. So you download it. Uh, it's a zipped file. Now what you then want to do, as you can see here, I've unpacked it. So I've extracted the file, just unzipped the file, I've put it onto my desktop. You can save it wherever you want onto your PC. That's not the important part. The main thing is you, you download it, you extract it, and then you don't need to do anything from that bit there. Great. Now that you've done that, what you now need to do is you need to open your Chrome browser. And again, uh, I should mention this can't be done on your, your mobile phone. This extension is purely for PC at the moment. Uh, who knows, we might be able to roll it out in the future to uh, other devices, but for now, purely on PC to begin with. Um, so what you want to do, in your Chrome extension, you want to click the three dots at the top right-hand side there. You tick that there. You're going to go down to Tools. You're going to press Extensions. And this is what you're going to see here. Now, to add an extension, you need to go on to Developer Mode, because this isn't on the Google, the Google Store yet. And then you want to press Load Unpacked. Now, this is going to bring up what you want to find. Now, I, I saved my quick flip on to the PC. So all I do, I highlight it and I press select folder. Simple as that. And you can see here now, now that I've done that, in the top right hand side here, you will see a small icon. Now, if you click on this here, if you click on this here, this will load up your login details. Now, your login details will be the Discord email address, so your Discord name that you've provided upon signing up and a password that we will allocate you once you've signed into the plan. So fill in your details and press login. All right guys, so now, now you've logged in. If you click on the button at the top right, which you originally had to, to enter in your login details, it will now show you a little bit of the app, uh, a little bit of the extension. So <clears throat> first of all, select your platform that you are, that you're trading from. So if it's PlayStation, uh, Xbox or PC, you've got support across all three. Now, this app, this extension, will only work on players that are worth more than 100,000 coins. So it's not going to work on your 82s, 83s, 84s, 85 rated cards. It's going to work on your, your tasty informs, uh, some of the headliner cards, all of the promo cards, and every single icon is listed under this extension. Now, you can see here, base percentage, once you're a little bit more advanced and sort of understand what you're doing, you can have a bit of a play around with that. For the time being, I'd recommend just leaving it at 10%. And what that's going to do is going to take into account your 5% sales tax. And it's going to highlight, and you can see here, according to the colours, it's going to highlight the players in terms of the deals that are on offer from there. Now, what you need to do then, if you go to the Foot Companion app, I'm just going to Google it. So you log in via the web app. Fingers crossed, I'm already logged in. <laughs> You can tell fairly quickly if you've um, if you've installed it correctly. So the first thing you want to do, head over to your transfers. You want to search the market, and what I would do just to make sure it's installed, I'll type minimum price. Let's say 125,000, so 100,000, and max price 125,000, and you can see here instantly it looks different. So, I'm going to talk you through what you've got here, all right? So, let, let, let's talk about what you've got on the screen. So, first of all, you can see straight away that what's happened is, is all the players and the way they are listed is much more condensed. So, instead of having you know, large icons, it, it's shorter, it's easier to flick through and easier to follow. So, kind of refresh this quickly. We're going to keep it trying to ticking over. Now, the thing about this here is, is you can see from all of the players listed there, that actually none of them are coming up as highlighted. Now, what that means is it means that according to the database, like there's, there's no real bargains to be had. Now, that's to be expected because in all honesty, 
if there is a player that's worth flipping and worth sniping, the chances are they're going to be picked up in the first couple of minutes from when they've been started, um, you know, being bid on and, and whatnot. So, <clears throat> look, you can see a couple of different things that you've got here. So, first of all, at the top here, you've got the time interval. Now, this is important because when you are searching through the search functions, you don't just want to type in between you know, 100,000 coins and above because the amount of results that you will get will be ridiculous. You'll be you'll, you'll spend uh, you'll spend ages and ages and ages trying to get through to that 59th minute, and eventually you'll get timed out, and the um, you know, the web app will just kick you off. Now, the name of the game is you want to get to the 59th minute, and you can see here at the top there what it's highlighting is the time between the first card that's listed and the last card that's listed. So that's these two these two numbers here, so one minute 12 to one minute 24, and the amount of time that it's gone up by going to the next page. So you can see there that actually the the rate of increase, so to put it, is small. It's relatively small. So it's going to take us a little while there to get all the way through to the 59th minute. So what you might want to do, if that's the case, and on PlayStation in particular you're going to find this because there's a lot more cards on PlayStation than any other platform, you're going to want to reduce your search parameters. So you want to drop down to, let's say, you've got 200,000 coins to flip with, 200,000 between 200 and 210. Now, what you will see as you're flicking through, as an example, I've clicked on Lewandowski here. It shows you the time remaining. Obviously, we know the buy now price. Now, what it takes into account, it takes off the 5% tax. It allows for the 5% profit that you're looking for. It tells you what the break-even price is. So that's the break-even just to make anything on him at all. And then what the potential profit is. Now, if you click potential profit, it will take you directly to the footbin price. So the footbin price will tell you, okay, actually the price there is 90,000 coins. But the potential profit is based on his average price. And it's an average price over a period of time. So certain cards, for instance, icons are done over a couple of days. Uh, cards with more fluctuations are done over a period of three to three to 12 hours, depending on the card. So it's going to take a little bit of intuition for you to know if it's a real bargain or actually something's impacted the market price, which is why I'd always recommend Again, footbin isn't always accurate, but I'd always recommend clicking on that link there, potential profit. It'll take you through to the player, and you can have a very quick look at the hourly prices, see what's going up, what's going down. It might be that in some instances, you'll find a really cheap icon, and you go, right, I'm in on that. No problem at all, and you'll, you'll make a, an easy snipe. Now, like I say, you're not going to find bargains with a minute to go. You need to go through to the page of about the 59th minute. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pause the video there. I'm going to flick through to the 59th minute and hopefully I'll be able to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, here we go, guys. Um, I've just spent a couple of minutes here just flicking through. Um, what I've done, I've changed the search parameters to icons, and I've put the price between 200 and 400,000 coins, because that gives you a little bit of range of the icons. But because it's purely icons, it just filters it down a little bit. I also find that icon prices personally are a little bit more stable. But look, you can see here, we've, we've just skipped through to the 56th minute. And we've got the first card that I've, I've seen so far today that's uh, listed as yellow. Um, so you can see here, it, it's fairly obvious that it might be a, a, a bit of a deal. Now, if you click on the yellow here, it tells you first of all what the potential profit is. If you click the SBC tips up here, so it says, it's okay, it's between 0 and 0.1% more than the set price. So potentially you're making 15,000 coins from this flip. If we look at the price on Footbin, Footbin says, well, actually he's going for 290. That lines up with our average, our average price. Now, one final check you can do before buying, and this is quite clever from the tool itself, is if you press compare price, at the top here, again, if there's more than one page of players, you'll have to flick through, but at the top there, it says the price you're paying compared to the next cheapest. The next cheapest on the market is 288. So to me, that's a buy. That's a buy, because even the next, in fact, we've missed it. Look at that. We, we took that long showing it, that we missed it. But the fact that you can see there, he was on the market for three or four minutes, once we get to the 59th, pay, uh, 59th minute, it gives you a bit of an idea as to, to what to look for. And it gives you a minute or two to react and find uh, potentially any potential deals. I'm not surprised that we've just missed out on that one. So here we go. We've, we've made it to the 59th minute. Now, you can see at the 59th minute, um, the, the time difference here, the top that's been highlighted. The first car when we first clicked onto it was on the 59th minute. The last was on 59.23. Now, with a 22-second gap, and there's only 37 seconds till an hour, um, I reckon I can still go forward a page. Now, the reason I say I can still go forward a page, and what is crucial to remember, is that once you go past the hour mark, looking for players, so there's only players in the first hour this really works for, 
Once you go past that hour mark, then the pages stop refreshing for you. So new players that are listed at the 58th, 59th minute, if you go back and then forwards again, they're not going to show up for you anymore, which means you have to restart the process. And I'll be honest with you, it's a real ball ache. So what it's important to do is you want to stay below the one hour mark. Now, there's two ways you can do that. First of all, you can obviously go back a page. So if you go back a page, watch that, you'll go down in time a little bit. And then you go back and refresh. The other way is you just sit there for a little while and wait for the page to naturally go forward and refresh that way instead so to bring up the next set of listings. So it just means that actually you're, you're filtering through pages, um, you know, one, one page every 10 to 15 seconds, um, possibly more depending on what your, your settings are and how quickly you got there. But you can see here, 22 seconds. So I know, all right, we're at 59 minutes 15. You can see when the price is load, it's giving you the potential profits on each one. Some of them, I'll be very honest with you, some of them may show as a small plus profit, but because it doesn't fit in with your filters and uh, it's, it, you could be seeing slightly higher risk, it doesn't always highlight itself um, to say that actually there's profit there. But I'll come on to that uh, another time a bit later on once you guys are sort of getting into this and getting used to it. So here we go, guys. I've been looking at uh, the 59th minute for about a minute or two now. Um, I can see here, I've got a yellow match here. It's close. Buy for 287, it's saying there's a potential 15,000 coin profit. So I'm just going to click on him. You can see here, so what are we are bidding at? 287. Cheapest of the market was a 296, but that's not just his average price. And you can see right now, that's the cheapest price he's been all day. So to me, that's a fairly safe buy. I'm going to try and buy him now. Oh, I've been outbid on him. Unbelievable. I was too slow. But realistically, guys, once you get to know the prices and the way they work, you don't need to do what I've just shown you there. You can just go straight in and you can buy them pretty quickly. Uh, we just compare his price. You can see here actually the cheapest on the market was 287, which we bought out there. There's another one on for 295 at the moment. That's still there. It's got 49 minutes to run. But potentially if I was to buy a player like that, I'd probably list him up for an hour. And then I'll just uh, you know relist and relist until he sold. Because chances are he's at a spit my low point there on foot bin. And actually once prices return, they'll get back up to where they were. So look, um, just... I literally went forward uh, another couple of pages and um, another closer came up and having just looked at him, I was able to go, ah, oh, sweet, you know what, I, I, I'm fairly confident on this one. So he bought the 292, you can see here the break even's 307. Average price dictates that actually you should be able to sell for another 10,000 above that, so 317. And if you go on to, um, if you go on to Footbin, you can see here that actually throughout the day, his price is off and up at 320 throughout the day. Um, as it has been for the previous day. So I'm fairly confident. Um, again, as long as I start to list these cards, it's going to sell. We're going to make some easy profit. As long as it's above 307, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> so um, anyway, look, guys, that's, that gives you a bit of a flavor of how it works. You can see that it's taken me a matter of minutes um, to pick one or two up. Obviously, the, the video is going to be able to slightly edited. Um, but realistically, oh, there's another one here. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll do the research in a minute. I've, I'm going to trust it a little bit here. So you see here, break even 263, let's have a look. Break even 263, there was, there was one listed at 257, but if we look at the hourly graph on this, oh, he's been up at 270. He's been up at 270, he's dropped off there a little bit to 260. Down to 257, people trying to sell. Previous day up to 270, 280. Sweet. To me, that just smacks of profit, so I'll, I'll be selling him. Um, <laughs> look at that, I found one, and then we just found another one almost instantly after. So you can see how quick and easy it can be. But uh, just by searching through that 59th minute stage, now you can see here, I've done this slightly on purpose, you, I've gone past the hour mark. So the problem is now, if I go back, um, oh, there's Rivaldo there. There's Rivaldo here. Go on then, son. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. So many bargains to be out of this, unbelievable. But look, uh, the problem now that I've gone past the hour mark, I don't think, or maybe it is, we might have got away with that. Normally, it doesn't then refresh any cards that are under the hour mark. So once you get past that hour mark, we've done it properly now, for sure. 100% for sure. But now, it's not going to show me any new 59th minute minute cards. So that's the last cutoff. And what that means now is, unfortunately, it means I'm going to have to have to refresh. So I've already bought that Rivaldo. He's mine. Bought with 4.30. Uh, but you see here, it was down at 58 minutes. 51. If I press forward, there's no new 59 minute cards. And that's where, if you go past it, you then need to refresh. But anyway, look guys, I hope that sort of explains roughly how to use it. Um, there's going to be, you know, you're going to have to spend a little bit of time getting used to it. Like I say, it can only be done on the PC. 
any card over 100,000 coins should be listed on the app. It works across all three platforms. Um, I'll tell you what, guys, if you've got some coins, you're looking to make some easy, quick coins. It's the SBC Tips Quick Flip. I'd, I'd recommend it. We're going to give you guys, um, those of you that want to trial it, a week's free trial, and then it's $15 a month, and that pays for the server upkeep and bits and pieces. Uh, we only own half the rights to it as well. So um, you may see other applications like it online. So uh, there are one or two other traders that have got something very, very similar. The difference is, is this is, it's, it's we're basically taking a Ford Focus and we'll put a V8 engine into it. Because this has got every card above 100,000 coins on there. And it's got its own privately run server. So um, it's superb, guys. Uh, you're going to make a stupid amount of coins. If you look at my transfer profit for the week, I'll show you now here. Whilst, uh, whilst I'm live, I hope it's not, I hope it's what I think it is. So I've purely been using this app and a little bit of uh, the market as well. Uh, 1.4 million for the week. It works. It really does work. Anyway, enjoy it, guys. Follow the instructions you want to sign up to on the uh, Discord chats. I hope you enjoy it. I'll catch you later. Bye for now. <laughs>